Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Crash Bandicoot. I almost said Crash Crush because <laughs> I'm reading the next level. Uh, in the previous episode we got to ride that really cute polar bear and um, some other stuff too. We, we learned that we could like belly flop and such. Anyway, today we're going to do Crash Crush. So let's get right down into it. Oh, it's coming towards us again. It's one of the bolder levels. Ooh, okay. Uh, these ones are pretty good. I think we could do fairly decent on this one, maybe. Up, 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 up. Why am I breaking it? I don't need to break it. I just need to break enough to get past it, and then the boulder will take care of the rest. I'm dead. We're not dead. We're alive. Oh, that's intense. Checkpoint. That's the part where you gotta slide. <laughs> I love that I just ran straight into it, too. Oh, that's a, that's a mine. Good thing those don't actually hurt us. That's good. They just kind of slow us down. Oh, speed run? Wait, there was another way to go? Wait, what's this? What is this? I didn't see any other path that we could have taken the other time. I'm going back this way. I don't care what you say. How are you supposed to, wait, do the, do you have to do a slidey jump? A slidey slidey jump? I wanna see what secrets lie over here. But how are we supposed to make it across this? Do you slide and jump? Is that a thing? Slide jump! Oh my, holy moly. Holy moly, I did it. I'm the world's greatest gamer. <laughs> oh, it brings us right back here. Okay, that's nice. Okay, cool. So that's just like a way to get like more uh, boxes and such in case you miss some. Please be a checkpoint. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh, under the... That, yeah. The zippy zap. We're dead, we're dead, we're dead. Nope, yeah, we're dead. <laughs> Sliding under the zapper to uh, continue forward is... Very tricky. I don't like it. Focusing a little bit. I didn't know where to go. All right, back here. I know where to run this time. Slide underneath the scary part and just keep running forward. <gasps> New section. We're good to go. Breeze out of the gate. Ah, jump over the, the mine. Don't jump over the mine. You know what? Just walk into the mine. Hey, how about that? Ever thought about that technique? That's a real good one. I uh, I tried it myself. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? What's happening? Why am I still alive? Ooh, yee boy. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. I just got my buttons all mixed up, I think, and somehow managed to make it work. We're going down here. Let's go to the bonus level. I don't know why I'm not talking. This is just casual stuff. Oh, we could have jumped across there because the slidey jump I learned is actually not really that that hard to pull off, uh, as I will now demonstrate right now. Ready? Slidey jump. <laughs> slidey jump. <laughs> Ta-da. <laughs> yeah, it's actually uh, a lot easier, the timing, which I really like that they leave a big window for that because I thought there was going to be something insane for this. Like you had to time it just perfectly, otherwise you didn't make it. Uh, now we jump up here like this. Yeah. And that's everything for that part. Nice. 13 more boxes. Where are these 13 boxes? Oh, gotta grab the gem or uh, crystal. I'm gonna keep mixing them up because I'm so used to saying gem after both Spyro and uh, the last game. But now there's crystals involved. What's the third game gonna be? You gotta add like rocks in here too? Am I gonna have to start saying like igneous? It, 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 I forget what the other ones are. It's been a while since I had to do uh, rock geography. Chelsea, tell me in the comments, please. Thank you. You got like igneous, you got sh something that starts with an S, I think. And then you have uh, the, the third one that's like the really long one that's been underground for like 500 million years, yeah? I remember like the names of them. Sedimentary! Sedimentary because the layers, that's the second one. Look at me go. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> What's the third one though? It starts with a T, I think. Um, but yeah. <laughs> uh, that was a, that was a big back sidetrack. Usually I would cut out all those fails, but hey, we made it. It just shows that my brain was actually focused on trying to remember the words. Oh, we want to break this. Wait, maybe the box will break it? The box, oh, the, the box, the, I said the box, I meant the, the b b boulder. <laughs> the boulder would break the box. That's what I was trying to say, but it didn't. So we have to make sure we do it ourselves. Ah, 
That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Now keep running forward, Crash. Yeah, we got the gem. I did it. These last few, uh, this level and the last one took me a little bit of time, a little extra time to do, but uh, kind of worth it, I think, especially if we do end up going back and getting the, uh, the gems later on. All right, so now it's time to do the time trial for this one. So our target time to beat is 157. Wow, that seems like a lot of time for that level, but uh, maybe not? I don't know. Anyway, let's go. Okay, so our next level is the eel deal. I, I don't know what it is, but uh, we're going into it anyway because we have to do it as one of the levels. The tips in this game are actually really good. That one said something special hides behind something fake. That means I'm missing probably something basic like a wall that you can break in each of these levels. Oh man, ooh, this place, this, I don't, uh, I don't like sewers usually, but this was like one of those levels, we can step in water, right? Okay, this was one of those levels that uh, I think you're like racing in, in CTR, I'm pretty sure that's, that's it, it's similar to that at least, because that's the only reason why I would recognize this, you don't step into the water when the eel is being zippy zappy, you step into the water when he's not zapping, yes? I think this one wants us to just like ride along and keep going. Oh, the doors are the Jack and Dexter cool circular doors. That's the only game I know those from. Although this game probably, did this game come out before then? I don't know when this one came out. These were created by like Naughty Dog originally, right? No, yes, no. Activision? Just Activision, not Naughty Dog. I don't know. I don't know games, what am I doing? These uh, metal, Mice rats are uh, terrifying, by the way. <laughs> oh, they're so spooky. Okay, wait for it to zap, and then we jump into the water, and we keep going forward. Okay, we have two ways to go here. You can go either the way that it's telling you to go, or you go the way it doesn't tell you to go, where there's all these very scary boxes. And um, do we go past them? Wait, is this a door over here? I'm trying this because I don't know if this is a door. Oh! <gasps> That is so sneaky. I don't like it. <laughs> the, these are like the turtles that have little spikes on their sides. Okay. Okay, I see what's happening. That's, that, that, I, mm, I'm just so gobsmacked. <laughs> is that the right word? <laughs> I was not prepared for that. Even though like the tip said, oh, something hides behind something fake, I thought, eh, I'll still try and make the jump anyway. These eels are terrifying. 
This is probably leading us to like a separate crystal. Oh, <gasps> it's the time stall. <laughs> oh no, I'm dying. Um, okay, cool. We got the colored stone, but do, does that mean I have to make it now out of this level and like beat the level? Now that that's, that's the case that I got it. I thought that was just gonna give me an easy way out. This game's not easy like that, is it? This one's gonna be a lot trickier. I don't remember these parts. I don't remember these parts. So I'm going to guess that we already have the stone there. If we don't, then that's okay. We at least know where to go and find it later. I'm gonna move on forward as if we do have it and pretend that we have it, even if we don't. And then uh, if I need to later on, I'll come back for it. Yeah, I, I think I might have to go back though for it. I'm not entirely sure. Wait, I guess we could pause it and check. Yeah, maybe you don't get it till the game level's done? Like it confirms it that way? Maybe, I'm not really sure. We'll see at the end of the level, it's okay. If I have to replay it, I'm okay with that. I'll do that another time, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. I'm just breaking those because I don't wanna break the boxes. <laughs> I'm not sitting here breaking those things. Are you crazy? I'm not about that. Gotta save time here. I'm also getting hungry for like lunchtime. <laughs> Cause it is lunchtime pretty much. Ooh, wait, what's this way this time? It's pretty much lunchtime though. So I'm, I would like to get like uh, a nice meal soon. I walked right into it. There we go, that's how you make it past that. These are like some fancy robots that like clean the sewers, I guess. Jump over the barrels. Don't fall down the hole. Wait, maybe fall down the hole? That looks like a secret down there. Okay, nothing hidden behind this door. They only did that for the one part. There we go, crushed all those boxes. Now let's jump down here and see what's over here. Ooh, tricky. Can you grab onto this? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Okay, we can hit this. Break all the green boxes in the level. Do the uh, the Daxter-like levels. That's all, all I remember this kind of thing from because we're hanging out over lava. Wait for the creepy robot to go past and then go over here. We can break that. I don't know what's happening. This guy just goes side to side, I think. Oh, wait, he goes off of the... So we... I don't want to go right now. That's probably, yeah. Dude, this music's so good. It's so good. Jamming out. Oh yeah, let's go. Do, 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 do. We're not gonna grab all the wump of fruit. I don't need to. How do I jump down from here? Just jump. That's a creepy, ooh, that's terrifying. Just run past him, run past him. Run, how do I, that's how, okay. Uh, ooh, we missed some boxes. So we should have definitely gone to the left of that other fork in the road first and then gone back and then jumped into that hole. That's how that should have gone down. But that's okay, we'll do that uh, another time. <gasps> it kept it, that's so good. Whoop, 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 whoop. Did I not get the purple crystal in that level? Oh, now we have to go back into it again because I didn't get the purple crystal. Okay, so here we are at the second fork in the road again. I'm gonna go to the left and there is the crystal that we missed and probably these are all the boxes that we missed last time, right? Uh, there was one other box that I got um, when we went towards the green crystal or green gem way and uh, I probably would have hopefully put up a, a, little, a little video of that right now. But uh, yeah, that's that's it. Those, that's all of the the boxes, I think. So now we can go this way, um, and hopefully get the the gem for this level. And there we go. There's the gem. So yeah, those were the only boxes that we missed. Not bad. Not bad. Now we actually don't have to come back to this level, uh, except for, I guess I have to do the time trial, but uh, we don't have to do the, like go back to it in terms of getting the gems anymore, which is very nice.
10 of 25 crystals. You're on your way. I'm running low on power, so communication from this point will be difficult. Remember, I'm counting on you. I thought he said 20 crystals last time. Maybe he said 25. I heard, I heard 20, but now it's 25. Is it just gonna keep going up? If it says 30 on the next level, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose my mind on him. All right, now it's time to do the time trial for this one. So what's our? Oh wait, we. Right, you can't do the time trial because you can only fight the boss, and then you have to do it after the fact. Right, right, that's what I did on the last level too. I completely forgot about that. Anyway, uh, so I guess we're gonna fight the guys first, but right now, for you guys, it's gonna be the time trial for this level. So, woo, let's do that first. Let's see, what is the target time? It is 1.48, a minute 48, okay, let's go. But anyway, the Komodo brothers. Okay, let's go. Whoa. Dude, these guys look awesome. Looks like the room from the Sly. His, uh, his, who was it? Uh, Salim Al Kupar, that guy. Yeah, 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 it looks like his place because of all these fancy like rugs and pillows and whatnot. This guy's looking away from me right now. What do you want from me? I guess we just kind of chill for a second to figure out when the best time is to operate. And in the meantime, we just dodge them. Oh, this guy's lying down. Now we can smack him. Oh, <laughs> it hits both of them at the same time. That's good. Now we just dodge the blades of death. These boss arenas are so tiny. Okay, we don't get close to him, otherwise he gets mad. And then we do that again. Not bad. Now what's gonna change up this time? What's gonna make it like more challenging for the third time versus the other two times? Oh, he's gonna throw at uh, knives at us while we're running away from the brother. Ah, I see. I missed him? Okay, thank you, thank you. I thought we completely missed that shot. <laughs> Komodo no mo. Oh, that's a tongue twister and a half. And that's where we're gonna leave it for today's episode. So I wanna thank everyone so much for watching this episode of Crash Bandicoot Cortex Strikes Back, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Goodbye for now, my friends. <laughs>